Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm acrylic artist Joni Young and today I'm going to be showing you how to paint this beautiful fantasy painting, forest setting, waterfalls with a full moon all in purple and white. So I'm using a filbert brush, dioxazine purple, titanium white on this 9x12 black primed canvas. So I'm going to start by just adding purple on the outside and then I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the white and start blending it softly into the purple and working my way into the center to where that moon's gonna be, making it lighter and lighter. So each time I do this, I'm gonna start another layer, adding more and more of the white. This helps to create that really nice soft glow. And then I'll do a continuous circle with my brush really fast on the canvas to get a nice smooth round shape and then come in and twist around some of that white using this filbert brush that's great for this So the next thing I'm doing is picking up a little bit more of the purple and white and I'm going to start making kind of like scoops along the bottom for a little path. Well it starts out as a path in my mind and then it transforms into some waterfalls. That tends to happen a lot in my paintings. So I'm going to keep the brightest highlights close to where that moonlight is going to be casting down on them and tapping in some little bits of foliage here and then soft little flicks turning my brush straight up and down for maybe some little tree trunks. I'm going to make these trees kind of curvy to match the roundness of this painting and that moon helps to create a mood to have some movement in your trees and put them on a different kind of an angle rather than having them straight up and down. I might have some trees that are going to be straight up and down in this but the branches are all going to kind of curve over. So it kind of gives you that feeling of um, they're protecting the moon. Get a kind of a comforting protection cozy kind of a feeling from this painting so creating little waterfalls a bit of white on the brush pulling and dropping and flicking short little ones I just want to have lots of little waterfalls that just drop and fall from a few different angles and sides and then we'll create some little branches Tapping in for some leaves. We'll start on the other side. And for a shadow, use more of that dioxazine purple. Now keep in mind when painting on a dark surface like this, with um, especially on black, once the acrylic dries, it'll be a little bit darker than the color you initially put on. So I'm always a little bit more generous with my white because when you add white, it will hold the color better. So whenever I want it to be really purple, I'm going to add a little bit of white to it. And I want to tap in foliage and make it look like it's going and wrapping around up those trees and over. Add a few more little trees, giving some more perspective and, and distance. They look like those trees are farther away. And then what I'm going to do is really make this even more inviting by adding a little staircase. And having that staircase wider in the foreground makes us feel like uh, we're close to it and kind of pulls us in and invites us to uh, step into the canvas, step into the painting and 
see where this staircase leads us. I like to create little stories when I'm um, working on a painting. And maybe there are some little ferns or different types of bushes and plants down here. I like to play around with that filbert brush. It's so versatile, you can do a lot with it. This is almost a one brush kind of painting. Um, I am going to use the liner brush for a few small branches. But overall, I'm using this filbert brush for almost the entire painting. So here I am just sliding my brush back and forth shorter lines underneath the moon where it'll be further away and things start to disappear off into the distance and maybe it goes around a corner and then they're going to be wider as I said down here creating foreground. We'll add in a few little branches. You need a lot of water on your liner brush uh, to help kind of loosen up that paint so that it flows nicely and evenly out of the brush. I'm just going to define a little bit, but I don't want to make it too, too detailed or too perfect looking. So some light shadow so we have some separation and we can tell that there's steps and then adding some foliage, which really is so much fun to paint. I love doing this when I create staircases or pathways. I like to use the filbert brush. Um, on larger paintings, I sometimes like to use the mop brush. That gives it a bit of a different look. Um, each brush works really well. It just depends on the type of uh, bushes or foliage that you wanna create for your paintings. These kind of look like ferns, and you guys know that I love ferns. So lately, uh, I've been doing a lot of hikes in the forest where we have a ton of ferns here on Vancouver Island. And so I'm really, really inspired and have ferns and uh, big trees and moss kind of in my mind. And that's really motivating me and inspiring my paintings lately. I'm going to keep building up a little bit of foliage here on the side and adding some more highlights and a bit more light on these waterfalls. So you want to have that white on the tip of your brush and pull and flick. And then you want to soften at the base of where the waterfalls are dropping into. I'm just adding a little bit of indication that there's a lake or a river, probably a river back there and maybe some moss drippings. So just by turning your brush sideways, tapping and pulling and flicking, you can create those really easily. Add a little bit more shadow to the side here. So I'm adding a little bit of shadows down here on either side of the water. Little bits of purple. You need shadows in order for your highlights to stand out and you need highlights in order for your shadows to stand out. Using my liner brush now, adding a few more little branches with little bits of moss and vines dangling down. We're almost finished this painting. I'm gonna add a little branch or tree root that comes right out here in white and then purple underneath for a shadow. I want to thank you guys so much again for joining me. I'm appreciating all the love and support you've given me on my channel. I wish you happy painting and I'll see you next time everybody. Thanks!